Now, the North and the Youth Coalition, through be in collaboration with Movement for Transparent Governance, have called the Nigerian Youth to vote a presidential candidate that will salvage the economic and educational systems of the country. The coalition organized a lecture in Kaduna titled Youth Led Pathway to Social and Political Change, Faith and Service in Contemporary Northern Nigeria. The aim of the lecture was to awaken the youth's political consciousness. Plus TV correspondent Habila Dorofai's report is presented from our studios. Youths from the 19 northern states meet in Arewa House, Kaduna. Their desire to change the narrative of politics in the coming elections. They say youths should vote for any candidate without ethnic and religious bias. Speaking, the northern coordinator of the group, Jamilu Abdullahi Sufu, say youths will make their choice based on integrity, competence, and ability to solve problems. 94% of Nigerians lost confidence in the way the, the, the presence of institutions that are ruling this country. So uh, if that will show that, that will show you that this time around is not about tribalism, it's not about uh, sentiment, it's not about uh, religious affiliations, it's about competency. So we are going to look, we are looking at a candidate that can bring a desired change that will change the situations of the economy. What happens, why do we have excess amounts of kidnapping, banditry in the north? Because the economy of the country is bad. Also, the vice chairman of the Northern Coalition, Zuberi Mohammed, says over time politicians have taken youths for granted. He said the situation can only be improved with the emergence of political leadership that can guarantee the future. When you desire change, it will come with the list of how you want to make the change. Before, we used to be between the devil and the deep blue sea, between APC and PDP. You don't have other option than to either vote for PDP or APC or you climb a fence and sit on it. God has provided us a platform, options, with a driver that has proven integrity. Some of the participants reiterated their support for Peter Obi. They say they are ready to vote competent leadership that have the interest of the public. From the look of things that we have seen so far, previous administrations, the youth were not so uh, enthusiastic about getting their PVCs because we already know the way things will turn out. You vote. Your vote doesn't count. But as it stands now, the youth have woken up. And the future that we have been promised right from primary school has come. And so we are ready to take it. I see from the turnout of those that are going for their PVCs, you see the numbers of youths. They are mostly youths. So we are tired of all these old people. They also complained about the shutdown of tertiary institutions for several months. Their payback to an adamant government is to vote for a leader that can stop the further collapse of Nigeria's educational system. We have been suffering a lot. There are a lot of propaganda. This party will come and tell us this. In the end of the day, there is nothing to present. There is nothing tangible. Consider what is going on now. ASU has been on strike for over five years now, or five months now. Nothing has been said tangible. The federal government is not even willing to sit and liaise with them. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.